welcome to this episode of the Cornetto podcast. My name is Lene Langbelle and I'm a recorder and Cornetto player. One of the most special things about the Cornetto is the mouthpiece. At concerts, people in the audience and other musicians in general always notice how small it is. Due to it being so little and tiny, very few historical mouthpieces have survived throughout the centuries. The few existing historical mouthpieces have been copied by today's makers and are used, though with modifications, because all cornet players are different and have their own personal taste. This, again, is not at all a new thing, because instrumentalists have always worked closely together with the makers. The making of a mouthpiece today is still done almost like in earlier days. Historically, the materials used were horn, bone, ivory, wood or even silver later on. Today, most mouthpieces are made of horn and some of ivory. The material used for the mouthpiece doesn't really affect the sound, but the shape indeed does. A smaller mouthpiece, like mine here, with a sharp rim, can make a clear and audible sound and articulation in all acoustics, even in very big holes. The Cornetto does for sure have one of the smallest mouthpieces of all wind instruments, and it is quite incredible that such big sound can be created by this little tiny mouthpiece. My name is Lene Langbelle and thanks for watching the Cornetto podcast.